Welcome back to GP's Odds and Ends. Jessica here. So today I have some kind of want to do like a a recap of some of the kind of short term month goals that I gave myself for January. What I want some of my February goals to be. I have some happy mail. I want to do my debt update. And probably since it's, uh, you're going to be seeing this on Friday, the Elyon Earth Group Challenge. So let's get right into it. Oh, and how did you like the new intro? <laughs> um, let me know what you think in the comments down below. I kind of wanted to streamline it and make it a little bit more cohesive with like other, um, like the channel art like my little icon and everything so let me know what you think so all right so for january let me go to the goal pages here um i i do i have been liking let me zoom you in a bit here so you can see what i am looking at okay so i did like using this. I didn't really fill in all of the options here. Like there, there's a lot of different kind of like emotions or how you're kind of feeling options in here. So I didn't necessarily use them all, but the ones that I did use, I, I noticed that I had quite a few days where I was feeling kind of productive. That's all the purple. Um, a few sick days, that's kind of like the, the, um, that yucky yellow color or orangey yellow color. And those are probably headache days mostly. Um, I also liked using the tracking like options down here. So this is kind of the self care and health page. Um, I liked using the tracking, so I'll probably continue that. Although I, I may streamline it a little bit and, and, um, just focus it on whatever I want my goal to be that month. And then um, my goals for self the health the self care side, um, my specific goals <laughs> were to have at least fifteen no meat days, um, which I did accomplish. Um, I'm going to use this section here to keep track of the goals that I did accomplish. So I actually had 17 no meat days, so I'm quite happy about that. I also wanted to have at least 10 days of the month where I was over 3,000 steps. I know that that's not much, but it is winter here, so I do like to walk outside. It's been kind of hard to do that with the weather and everything like that, but I did meet that goal and I had... Um, 18 days where I was over the 3,000 steps. So that was very cool. Um, moving on to the budget side, I ended up with a um, my total income for the month between my regular job. I had a gift. I had um, the Etsy payout. My total income was $2,761. My checking, started, my checking account started off at $544, ended on $896. So it's a little bit of an increase, although this is mostly just for my online bill. So I'm not super worried about that. But my goal was to continue paying off my credit cards. I wanted to complete at least three savings challenges to help go towards long-term and debt. And I wanted to pay off at least one credit card. So for that, um, I did pay off the one um, credit card for the month. So we, we managed that and I actually accomplished completing five challenges instead of my goal of three. Um, also on here, I have that the donation that was for January was hugs for Brady. And um, that ended up being $63. I did that through my employer. So they got a match of um, from my employer of the $63 as well. So that is quite cool. Um, I don't know yet. Uh, I have to look into it a little bit more for what I want my donation to go towards for February. If you have any suggestions, you can comment them down below, but uh, I will definitely still be putting the money aside for that because it's something I enjoy 
doing. Um, but for, um, so I, I did pretty good in regards to the goals. I didn't write everything down yet. Um, we'll get into goals for February in a moment, but first, um, let's go and look, let's go ahead and look at the, um, the debt update part, just because that, that page is right there. So in January, my total credit card debt was $2,346. My car was 11584 And then my school loans was 51582 So my total debt was 65512 So I wanted to um, pay off at least one um, card, which I did. Um, I currently have three cards. Whoops, you can't see that. <laughs> I currently have three cards remaining that I need to pay off. So I have my city card, my credit one, and my ally or alley um, credit card. So um, we're moving right along with that. These are all of the cards that are now paid in full. So that is quite exciting. Um, and these are just the credit cards that I still have open. I did close three credit cards once that they, once they were paid off as well, because those, um, I think I've explained in previous videos, those were cards that were charging me a monthly fee. So I'm not going to pay, uh, you know, a hundred or more dollars a year just to keep the card open. So I did close three cards. All of these do not have monthly fees. So um, I'm going to keep them for the time being, but they are all paid off. So my total credit card debt now is $2,026.81. So that's about $300 lower than last month. So that's a combination of the what I paid, what I specifically like saved up to pay towards debt with the savings challenges, but also minimum payments that were coming from the cards that still have balances. My car is now at $11,371. So that's about the 250 or so dollars lower because that's my monthly payment. My school loans right now are 51,700. So that kind of keeps going up, which is a little bit discouraging, but it's because of the interest. So once I'm able to finish paying off the credit cards and start paying down the school loans, I'm, I'm positive. I, you know, I'm, I'm hopeful that that amount is going to start coming down because right now the minimum payment that I'm making every month, like the auto payment that is coming out every month is just going towards interest. So once the card is paid off. I'm going to start tackling the school loans so that that amount come, starts to come down. Um, cause I, I think once I can pay the principal on some of these, the interest will also come down. <laughs> so now my debt is at, um, $65,098, which is about $414 lower than it was last month. So that's a step in the right direction. Um, for this month, I want to, if I can, I would like to try to pay off the two cards that have the lowest balance. So the alley and the credit one account. And then I just wrote down what I have in my retirement and my um, CDs. I'm starting the CD ladder now. So for like retirement and my future, I have about $33,000, which is about $1,083 more than last month. So that is very cool. And then I just have this little adulting is so very hard, <laughs> which I love. I think that's just funny. <laughs> so let me grab a pink or purple pen to write on this page. So kind of for, I want this page to kind of be high level, um, overview of what I want my goals to be. So I'm going to put on here that I want to um, let's see, continue to pay credit cards, continue <laughs> to pay credit card. 
Um, let's see. I want to, um, I want to continue like eating healthy. I kind of, uh, I've been focusing on having no meat days. I kind of want to focus on having, um, 100% vegan days, meaning no meat and no dairy. Um, if you have questions about like why I'm doing that, you can, you know, you can message me or leave them in the comments down below. I'd be happy to answer any questions. It's really just a health thing for me. Um, but I want to also start, um, walking outside again. It should start to get nicer and, um, it should start getting nicer. And also, by the time I get out of work currently, it's kind of too dark to go um, to the trail that I like to go to. Um, so this is kind of the time of year where it should start to, we should start to have like more daylight hours, kind of, <laughs> if that makes any kind of sense. Okay, so I'm probably... Um, I mean, I probably could have put that in the goals section uh, as well, but I think I may leave some of this blank still um, just until, um, you know, I kind of start, I kind of fill things in as I go, if that makes sense. Um, so, you know, I'll, I'll kind of write things in. Um, I think maybe here... Um, for one of my goals, I'm going to put um, focus on health um, to lower my blood pressure. So story time here. <laughs> I went to the doctor recently and um, my blood pressure was kind of elevated on my first, like I, I go for a preventative exam every, every year. And, um, my blood, my blood pressure on the initial visit was a little bit high. It wasn't anything like, um, you know, so crazy high that it was like, oh my God, like, are you, are you okay? You're, you could, you know, have a problem at any moment or whatever. It was elevated. Um, so he wanted me to come back a week later just to make sure it wasn't just because of being like in the office, having the visit, like they kind of call it white coat, white coat blood pressure. Like your blood pressure is a little bit high because you're nervous about having to go to the doctor. Um, I went back the week later and it was still about the same levels. So I, I only had to see the nurse that day. I didn't actually have to see um, the doctor. It was just the nurse that took my blood pressure and then went and talked to the doctor. So the nurse comes back in to the room and says, well, we're going to call in a prescription for blood pressure medicine. Okay. Now I'm the kind of person, like, I don't like to take medicine. I don't like to take tablets. Um, even my prescription medicine for the migraines, I will do everything that I possibly can to try to minimize or get rid of the headache before I resort to taking the prescription. I don't like the way medicines like that over, like, that I don't like the way that they make me feel. I don't like the side effects and things like that. So I will do what I have to do to not take medicine, <laughs> not, you know, not prescription things that have like significant side effects. Um, there, there's, you know, other reasons for that. Just when my migraines started, the doctor put me on like all sorts of medicine and it just like, the side effects were just horrendous. So I, I will do what I have to do to not have to go that route. Um, it kind of was disappointing though, that that was just like the first option that was given to me too. It's like, why not <laughs> try to get people healthy versus just a band aid? But that's, you know, that's just my opinion. So, um, what he stated at that point, once I refused the medicine, <laughs> that's the, the prescription medicine. He said, okay, well, um, then we want you to go to a dietitian. Um, so I do have that appointment coming up and, um, we'll give you until April. We want you to come back in about three months to check it again. And 
if you're able to lower it, then cool. If not, then we probably need to talk about the medicine. So I kind of want to focus on exercising. I want to focus on, like I said, the vegan, uh, eating more vegetables, whole grains, things like that, that, um, will help also, you know, lower the blood pressure. So that's going to be my goal. So we can you know, not have to take medicines. So the rest of it for now, I'm going to leave blank. Um, let me go to the other pages here. I don't want this video to be too, too long. Um, I did write a couple things in here already. So for self-care, um, I put on here since I kind of, um, was able to meet the goal last month for 3,000 steps, I decided to give myself a goal of at least 10 days in the month of over 5,000 steps this time. And then um, since I, like I said last time, I had, I focused on just no meat days and I wasn't really cutting out the dairy as much. Um, this time I want to focus on no meat, no dairy days, so 100% like vegan day. So I want to give myself a goal of 10. Um, so I also on the bottom here put, um, those goals so I can track it day by day. It's going to be easier to like, remember at the end of the day and track it in here and then look back on it later. So I probably will also do this again. Cause I, I kind of, I liked seeing how the month kind of played out. And then I kind of need to think about these items um, again. So uh, I don't I don't know exactly what I'll want to do this time um, here, <laughs> but um, you know we'll we'll see we'll see how how the month kind of plays out. So open to suggestions if if you know there's things that you you have suggestions on on you know, in regards to relaxation, happiness, or relationships, let me know. <laughs> and then for the budget side, um, I don't know if I'll continue to use this. Like I said, the checking, um, maybe once I start building up my uh, savings again, maybe I'll use one for like emergency and one for regular savings and keep track of it here. Um, but I will see, I, I'm not sure if I'll keep track of this here again. Um, I put a goal that I wanted to pay off a minimum of 300 on my city card, but I think I'm going to change that and, um, try to pay off the alley and credit one cards. So, off, um, the alley and, um, credit one cards. Um, so I do have just my, um, income listed here for like my regular paycheck and then Etsy. And then I will get another, of course, paycheck, um, from my job, my regular job. And, uh, later in the month, I just didn't write that in here yet. And then for, um, the credit card payments, I only, um, these ended up are now like paid in full. So I didn't have to write them down. I'll write in Allie if that, um, ends up having, you know, like the monthly payment at the end or towards the end of the month that won't be until the 27th. But, um, I, everything else is paid in full. So I don't have any credit cards that will need to come out of my first like credit card payments, the regular minimum that will have to come out of my first February paycheck. And then, um, I'll write in the amounts here later. I need to look those up, but I still want to save for my car insurance. So that's kind of the long-term fund that I'm focusing on mostly right now. I'll probably start, you know, if I have a little bit of extra money from the completed savings challenges, I'll start focusing on the PO box as well. Cause that will be coming a month later in May. And then um, Amazon will be after that. And then a bigger, like large expense that I also need to be aware of is my car taxes. So that can be close to $500, maybe more, maybe less. It just depends on what the rates are for my city. Um, but that will be in October. And also, um, I have not filed my taxes yet, but that should be coming um, soon. Um, 
So I am expecting a refund. So most of that is probably going to go towards the um, paying the rest of the credit cards off so that they are out of the way and done. Um, so I'll probably use most of my refund to to finish paying off the credit cards. Um, depending on how much is left over, I may put uh, some of that towards paying down one of the school loans and then maybe some of that to go towards some long-term funds. So I'll have to, I kind of have to see, I will have to see how much I end up with by the end of it. Now, um, let's get into the um, Ellie on Earth challenge because I want to make sure that I continue on with that. And I believe I'm still $2 up. Now, um, since it's Friday and this is also my payday, I have not divvied out the money yet. I did go to the bank and pull the money from um, my my check. So I need to divvy this out into the different categories like the coin flip, the holiday randomizer, um, my regular savings challenges. I'm going to do a little bit of cash stuffing, the money for my mom, things like that. So those videos will be coming in a little bit, but, um, I, I have enough, you know, that will be designated for savings challenges. So I'm just going to pull the money from here instead of my wallet, um, to fund this particular challenge. So right now, um, and this again is Ellie on earth. So go check out her channel. Um, Right now in here, my total should be, let's see, 32 and I have 35. So oh, so I'm $3 over what I need to be at. So I am going to um, deduct that from whatever is here so that I'm, I'm at an even amount. And then we'll just have one more scratcher next Friday. Um, but let's zoom in a little so you can see this. So let's do this one. Oh, a 10. <laughs> That's a big one. Okay, so since I'm $3 up, I'm just going to add 7 so we have a five, six, seven. So I was supposed to have 33. Now I should have 43, All right? So that's 16 plus the 10 plus the nine plus the seven. I should be at 42. Oops. So... 10, 20, 30, 35, 40, 41, 42. Okay, so now we are even. I'm guessing that this is probably maybe going to be another 10. I'm thinking that this one might be a $50 challenge. She said on here that the challengers are between 25 and 50. I'm definitely over 25 at this point. So I'm guessing the next one will be another 10, which is really cool. I think um, I... I asked what um, you all think I should put this towards and people were saying um, self-care so I may go ahead and do that I may um, put some of it maybe into my wallet in my my self-care envelope and maybe some um, into my soul mama binders uh, for when I want to start filling um, filling that in for other types of self-care items Okay, so um, on to Happy Mail. So that will be, we're getting to the end of the video. I do have a couple of packages here. Let me zoom out just a tad. Um, this first one is from Snow Gardener. This may be my membership. Um, if you are a member, she has some new challenges. And she did a pre-sale for members. Here, let's try there. She did a pre-sale for members for all of the items. And I, yes, I believe this is it. Yay. Okay. So she had four new challenges and we could choose just one as our free challenge. Or she did a pre-sale for members where they could purchase 
all four of the new challenges. So one of them would be free and then you were paying a discounted amount for the other three. So that is what I chose to do. I'm not sure which one I will choose to do as my like freebie. I could, I mean, I could do all of them, um, but it says, thank you for your order. I appreciate your support of my small business more than, you know, Jessica, happy February. Hope you love the new challenges, hugs and smiles, Marlene. And then we always have the challenge on the back. So this one's a little bit smaller. This one's 25. It might be a good one for my sunflower binder. So that is very cool, but oh my God, <gasps> look at that color. Oh my goodness. Okay. So this is artwork from her sister-in-law, Shannon, which is design, uh, 307 design studio. Yeah. 307 design studio, which is in little letters right down there. So the Marlene had said in the video that she gave, um, that she posted for her members that she didn't want to cover up the artwork with scratch off stickers and, and numbers and things like that. So this is just a challenge. She still did the two challenges because usually she has a front and the, and a back to her challenges. So the front is a scratch off and then the back is something else. She did the scratch off still with the color, same color scheme. And then the bonus challenge where you could do like the color, the color in. So this is so beautiful. Um, so this one's called colorful camouflage. And that is just absolutely stunning and gorgeous. And we have this looks like a snow leopard. That is beautiful. This one's called Alpine Wind. So you can see like the colors uh, underneath the scratchers there. The stickers kind of match. And then you have the snowflakes. So that one is just gorgeous. We have the lion. Oh, that is beautiful. That is so beautiful. Desert Fire Ghost, this one's called. Um, yeah, because he's kind of like, he looks like a ghost, ghostly apparition. So we have the scratcher and then the fire. And then, oh, this one's so pretty. <laughs> I love like the way it kind of looks like it's blowing away. And this one says infinite cycle. So yeah, it's kind of like you kind of have that infinity type symbol there, but the colors and then your little infinity symbols and the bottom to scratch. So I may, I, I don't know. These are, to me, it's a little bit, well, I mean, it, it, to me, it kind of could go with the seasons as well. Like this one would be winter. This one, you know, you could do for the summer with the fire. Um, you know, you can kind of incorporate them into different seasons. I'm not sure which one I want to start with, <laughs> but, um, I might start with the, with the snow leopard since it's still kind of winter here and, um, uh, and do that one when I'm, when I'm done with my current challenge. So these are absolutely stunning. Thank you so much, Marlene, for giving us that presale option as well, because these are gorgeous. And she also wanted this to be kind of artwork that we could keep as well. So once we're done with the challenge on the back, we can keep this as artwork and display it if we want, which I think is really cool. So I'm just going to put those over there. And then I have one more envelope. This is from a YouTuber. Um, this is not something that I ordered. So this was just sent to me. So I appreciate that very much. This is from Windmill Ridge Budgets and More. So um, she does have a YouTube channel. So go please go check her out. Um, and she has, she doesn't have an Etsy shop. She has her own website, which is Windmill Ridge Budgets budgets.com. I will link that in the description box below, um, for you, but she has some beautiful, cute challenges. So I am excited to see what might be in here because I have no idea. <laughs> oh my goodness. Okay. So we have this little card here. So it says windmill. Oops. Okay. And I'll show that in a minute because that's our business card. So it's windmill ridge budgets and more mindfully managing family, food, and finances. I'll read this in just a second. <laughs> And then um, this is all the information. So I love that the business card has an extra little scratcher there. I may incorporate this one into my holiday randomizer this time, but it's windmill budgets and more. We have the Facebook, YouTube, 
and website information. So hopefully you can see that okay. But again, I will link her website down below. But the YouTube is the same name, Windmill Ridge Budgets. And it says, Jessica, thank you. And her name is Susan, by the way. <laughs> Sorry. So let me see what she wrote in here. She says, thank you so much for inspiring me to restart my YouTube channel and to start my own online shop, windmillridgebudgets.com. I, I hope you can use these challenges to help celebrate your birthday month. Thanks, Susan. Oh, that is amazing. <laughs> thank you, Susan. I, I appreciate that. I... I never thought that I would be in a position like this where I could have, you know, something that inspires other people to do things like this, but I I just I'm I'm that makes my heart happy. <laughs> Thank you. Thank you so much Susan for thinking of me and and sending me these items. So look at how beautiful this is. Oh my goodness. Okay. So it's this happy birthday savings challenge and let me let me open it up because oh, this is exciting. Ooh. There we go. And I definitely can use these for my birthday. Absolutely. So we, oh, she wrapped everything individually. <laughs> That's amazing. Okay, so I'm not going to take it out just for the sake of time out of the packaging that um, these are in. But we have two sizes. My God, look at this. Look at how gorgeous these are. I love kind of like that ombre purple to yellow as well, but like the colorful. It's so, so colorful. So happy birthday. This would be save 80. And it says that they range from one to 10. So that's perfect for like smaller amounts, lower income. It wouldn't be too hard to complete. And then this one is 40. So also one to 10, but it's a lower amount. So I love that she has the different options and the different sizes. This would fit perfect in my sunflower binder as well. Perfect amount for my sunflower binder. And then perfect amount also for my um, regular challenges. So definitely look forward to using this. My birthday month is in June. Um, so, you know, it'll be here before you know it, right? I mean, the year just flies by, it seems like. But these are so gorgeous. And thank you so much, Susan, for thinking of me. So that is about it for today. Like I said, if you have any questions, um, please let me know down below. Um, I will be the, the next videos that will be coming up, of course, are going to be like my budget breakdown and cash stuffing. And then and I'll include shut the box and probably my um, no. Yeah. Shut the box with my mom. So she enjoys playing that game. We'll see how she does this time. <laughs> I have, um, after that, I'll also do the coin flip and probably, um, like emptying out the coins from my wallet. So my penny save, um, challenge, I'll do the holiday randomizer and then regular savings challenges. So I'll have to divvy all that money up that you saw earlier and kind of, you know, figure out where it needs to go. But, um, those videos will be coming. So thank you so much for watching. Hit that subscribe button. Probably in the very next video, maybe my, my budget breakdown and cash stuff, I'll do an update on subscribers and watch time as well and fill out my tracker because um, they're, they're, that's been going up as well. So I, I appreciate all of that. Thank you. Thank you so much. Um, we're almost, I think, at 760, which is very exciting. <laughs> so comment down below and until next time. <laughs> Bye for now.